I'm on holiday in New York, on Long Island. And since I don't live near a beach at home, I had some business to attend to. Building a sandcastle. Now, since I'm a bit out of practice, the first one I attempted to make, it didn't go so well. As soon as I lifted my bucket up, the sand collapsed into a heap. I remembered that if I wanted the sand to keep its shape, I'd have to get it wet. So I went down to the sea with my measuring cup to collect some water. 200 milliliters should be about right. Next, combine with 800 grams of sand and mix well. Turn over. And voila, a perfectly cooked sandcastle. It even has some pretty nice looking crenellations on top. But what is it about water that makes sand sticky? Well, it's got to do with something called surface tension. It's what allows water striders to slide on the surface of water and keeps liquid from flowing out of an overfilled glass. You see, water molecules don't like being exposed to air. They'd much rather be surrounded by other water molecules. This tendency for water molecules to bunch together is what causes raindrops to form into spheres, like the particles you're seeing on the screen. It's the shape that has the least surface area for a given volume. Water is always trying to decrease its surface area, and this creates a force called surface tension. Let's have a look at the effect of a soap film on this piece of copper wire. Can you see that the film is pulling the two legs of the wire together? As the legs get closer, the surface area of the soap film decreases. When the film breaks, the legs spring apart again. It's like the surface of the soap is this stretched elastic sheet that's constantly trying to contract. So how exactly is the surface tension working to stick sandcastles together? If the water were left to its own devices, it would form a big sphere, like a raindrop. Instead, it uses the sand grains to reduce its surface area, forming a liquid bridge between them. It pulls the grains together like an elastic band, and its shape has a special name, the catenoid. When I hold this glass above the surface of some water, look how the water rises up to the glass. It's using the bottom of the glass to avoid being exposed to air. When your beer glass gets wet on the outside and sticks to its coaster, you're seeing the force of the liquid bridge between the coaster and the bottom of the glass. These liquid bridges are what causes the sand to feel sticky, and they're why wet sandcastles hold their shape. There's a huge network of these liquid bridges holding each grain of sand to its neighbor. But if you add too much water, these liquid bridges get swamped and you're left with grains of sand floating in water. So the next time you're building a sandcastle, remember, you have surface tension to thank. <laughs>